Right, welcome to a brand new video on the channel. It's been a long time since I've been doing any videos. Uh, some personal stuff has come up in my life, which I've had to go away and take care of. But we are back and we are fully gone for the team of the season. Yes, it's been a long time and it's been... <laughs> I've missed probably around about two promos. Um, we'll get into possibly, you know, what the, the team looks like and everything. Uh, but for now, what we do have is the Eredivisie team of the season now this is we're still at seven minutes to go as you can see before uh, the team of the season gets uh, released but we have uh, the goalkeeper Unistal gets a card goes up from a 74 up by 13 uh, so mainly 12s and 13s across the board apart from diving which he gets 16 and gets 14 on again it's not a bad looking card. German means he can actually link to other leagues and whatnot. But this card's going to cost you around about 20k. That that that's there's no doubt about that. Uh, Widnell or Widnell, however you pronounce that. I never give pronounce pronunciations, including the word pronunciation. Um, yeah, he's got himself a decent upgrade. Uh, plus nine on his normal card, and he gets pretty much nine on pace and shots. 11 on passing and dribbling, 13 on defensive and physical. Um, it's actually a decent looking card. If you can match that up with either one of the other Eredivisie cards, or you can match that up with the, I would imagine, team in the season, Virgil van Dijk, EA. Come on, you know, it makes sense. Uh, at the end of next week, this could be a really decent left back card. But once again, it'd probably go for around about 40K, unfortunately. Uh, they're all going to be quite cheap. Gakpo, he already had a. Uh, Future Stars card. Pretty sure that's Future Stars. God, <laughs> I've been away so long, I can't even remember what promos we had. Jesus. But, yeah, so a plus four across the board on all of his stats on that card. And that card is 16k on the Xbox, 17k on the PlayStation. Um, I've got to admit, it does look like a nice card, but considering the fact that you see the price on hit this this will probably be around about a 70k card as well probably 50k maybe if you were lucky 50k 50 70k but yeah it's not gonna be great um Masrai, who's actually gonna go for Bayern Munich I believe at the beginning of next year I believe Bayern Munich won him uh, so he's been given a plus five over his team of the seat team of the week card plus nine across four of his stats ten on physical five on pace nine on the rest um, it's a decent looking card I'm not going to lie, it's a decent looking card again, this could be one, one of those ones that maybe you give a try, maybe it's going to be I'm like, trying to remember that other one from IX was it IX? maybe it was FC20 I can't remember um, from last year everyone loved him, played him at centre back and everyone got annoyed, can't remember his name though, decent looking um, it's alright I suppose uh, Goku, who got himself a Team of the Week card, then a couple of uh, Play of the Month cards as well. I have to say E8, he's gone now. Uh, I'm pretty sure he may actually still be there, I'm not sure. But got himself a plus three. It's a bit of a shame. Plus three is not that great, and it is plus three across the board, apart from defensive and physicals, which it gets a four and a five. Um, it's not a bad looking card, to be honest, but it'll probably be around about 30k, 40k within a few days of the actual promo being out then you've got Sanger. this one could be very interesting i think i know a lot of people when um when the sort of um this card came out were very happy with his card so this card looks nuts it actually really does look like a great cdm card uh and he gets himself plus five over his headliner card again i'm having to remind myself what cards these are because it's been a while but and that's pretty much six across the board apart from defensive which is a uh, five and a three on physical this could be an absolute beast and he could be cheap area divisi probably not going to be that popular Haller plus three over his uh, ucl card which is plus four across the board apart from shooting the passing which is plus three only three star three star though that's 60k. This could be probably 90k, 100k if you're lucky. 
it isn't going to be that much of a sought after card if I'm being uh, pretty honest and brutally honest if I'm uh, saying so. Timber, this is one I think a lot of people are probably going to want. Again, linking up to that left back, um, which now uh, we saw just a minute ago. Uh, there's going to be Virgil van Dijk, like I said, hopefully, uh, that he could link up to. So he gets a plus three over his foot birthday card. And it's a plus three across the board, apart from pace and passing, which is plus four. But yeah, really nice looking defensive card. Um, what's, what height is he? He's only 5'10", so he's a short one. So maybe you do want Virgil van Dijk with him next, uh, just for the height. And then we've got Anthony as well. Anthony gets himself a plus five. Uh, he gets himself four on dribbling, defensive, and shots. Five on passing, three on pace, six on physical. That's going to be a really sought-after card. Five-star skill moves. It's only got three-star weak foot, which, you know, it's going to put some people off, but that'll be a sought-after card. People probably wanted to link him up maybe with Neymar and whatnot. Uh, and this is going to be the card of the era Divisi that everyone's going to want. Gravenberg, absolute beast of a card. Gets himself a plus three over his future stars card and it's a plus three on most of the stats apart from shots and physicals which is a plus four and that is 320k on xbox 400k on playstation you can just imagine what this card's going to go for I'm, it's going to be in the millions i, I don't know if it's going to be you know, a great deal into the millions but it's definitely going to be in the millions but that is the era de Vizzi. we eagerly await the uh the community team of the season right here we go then here we go. I keep forgetting that my screen's over this way now, so I'm supposed to be looking up like this. So it just goes to show you, I haven't done this for a long while. Right! Here we go. Ooh! Right from the start. Team in the season, Parejo gets himself an objective card. And I do need more, because um, I got rid of my Parejo. You know, I can't remember what, what, what that one was, but I got rid of it. Um, but community challenge is going to be it. Let me just quickly check what community challenge is. Community challenge is leagues minimum seven, lone players max one. So basically, you're going to need a full-on nation squad for that, uh, which, could, which is fine by me. Fine by me. You've got seven days in which to earn that one. He actually looks all right. I'm not going to lie. He actually looks all right. And I did actually like the Parejo they brought out. Prejos with pace, really good players, really good players. And you've also got Maro Jr. as a left back from the Eredivisie, Brazilian, so he can get some decent links as well. Again, nice looking player, nice looking player. I want to actually look, four star, three star in this one. Ooh. That's a nice looking card, that is a nice looking card, I'm not going to lie, it is. Uh, Parejo. Just have a check. He's three star, four star. It's not a bad card. I actually like it. He's got 90, 95 stamina on him. He'll be a decent player for your uh, for your La Liga squad, and that's what I'm gonna try and get. Ooh, we've got a new kit as well. An Adidas kit. I like it. That's really nice. Milestones. Have we got anything? Milestones. Absolutely nothing. Season progress course we've uh i've looked through that not interested in anything that's in there let's have a quick check then and see what we've got graspadori gets himself a sbc card cam 99 acceleration 93 spin speed it's got 99 balance that's actually a nice looking card as well it's got good 99 head accuracy as jesus christ um player traits he's got the flare trait Four star, five star, five for eight. Not bad. How much is this guy going to be? 84 and an 85. That's actually quite decent. For a, for a first team of the season, if you're trying to Im improve your uh, your team of the season squad, sorry, your uh, your area division, Serie A squad. See, I told you I'm rusty. The Serie A squad, that could be good. Oh, you've got Community Tots Challenge 1. This is for a premium mixed players pack. 
you've got the fourth AC Milan kit that's just come out. Which just looks like an AC Milan kit that's been unfinished. I'm not going to lie. It's like it's been dipped in paint down one end and then, you know, dripped with paint on the other end. So, but are we going to get it? Of course. I bet this is expensive, though. You know what? No. As long as you can just put in a gold squad, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. So this is going to be for what? So we've got premium mixed players. Player quality minimum silver. Team chemistry. Ooh. All right. Players from the same league, max three. Countries minimum four. Jumbo premium gold pack. Got ourselves a big team of the week. Come on. Linhart. Well, not being funny. But, uh. Good to see. Good to see. Odyssey! How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Long time no see. Yes! We got the right back from Ajax. I give that for Odyssey. Odyssey came into the stream and said, yo, you're going to pack a team of the season. I mean, he's a good looking card. I'm not going to lie. He's a good looking card. The only problem is the, you fit him into a team. Oh, what a pack. <laughs> Got a 91 on black in there as well. Isn't it funny though? Isn't it funny? Right, that this is the one, well, the, the two gold player packs. This is the one gold player, two gold player pack that's untradeable. That's where I get him. How much is he going for? I ah, see there, there he goes. And like 30, he's 37k already. 35. Oh my god, you packed 95 Pelly and complained. I can understand. <laughs> Both are normal packs except for the 85 times 20. I think I'm going to save that. I'm going to. So this is the thing. I'm only opening the small packs right now. I'm not opening any of the big packs because I want to save them for that as well. What's who's highest? The right back. Whoa! Gakpo! What the? Okay, the two gold player packs are cracked they are cracked i don't know what the hell's going on but we have packed two team in the seasons mouse bar that you, you have you have jesus christ what a start was that tradable tradable <laughs> I bet he's like, look, this is when you know it's bad that the buy now price is 200k. The max buy now price is 200k. And that's 52 so far. 52, 47. I mean, 45. What is the point? I'm not going to complain. That's a, that's a decent, that's a decent looking card to be fair. Oh, did you pack a blue? Oh, nice. Who'd you get? Oh, you didn't get Liveramento, did you? I'm just looking at it now. Suarez would be great to pack. Laporte, Zaha, Nabry, Carrasco. I still can't believe Fred got in, man. I still can't believe Fred got in. I understand why, but, you know, fair enough. Uh, uh, Big John McGinn. You know, quality. See Kakare as well. Looks all right. A deli... A Adiemi is one I want to pack. Adiemi for the Danny Aarons. For the Danny Aarons massive. We got we got to pack him. That's not a bad looking team. That's not a bad looking team. Uh, sorry. Let me just make sure I'm now checking which ones. I'm going to open these two because I don't think you get any. I don't think they swapped the team of the season. So let's just hope we get ourselves a big Andy Robertson. Come on, Scottish. Ah, uh, it's him again. I've already got this guy. I got this guy earlier on today. 
But these would be good. These would be good for um, if we need them for any SPCs. Open the other one. Come on. Andy Robertson. Andy Robertson. It's the same guy! He's the only fucker available in these Team of the Week packs! Dude! Still, you know. Whoa! Three eighty fours. Hour in there as well. That's not bad. How much are these going for? I bet these are going for some... Oh, okay, maybe not. I was going to say, I bet these are going for more than any of the Team of the Seasons, but... Could be amazing, to be fair. Adi Robertson! Oh, it's... Oh, Gabriel Jesus! Fair enough. You packed five already, FIFA King. I mean, you're, you're behind Odyssey. Odyssey is on uh, eight so far. <laughs> I've only packed two so far, but... Did you pack anybody big, though, FIFA King? Have you packed anybody, um, like, really good? Oh, he's untradeable as well. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well. What can you do? Free pack, and it's Doc. Now we're Team of the Week. Andy Robertson! No. Uh... It's never Andy Robertson. Munain, though. That's not bad. 86 rated. You're buying to Debo. How much is to Debo? To Debo, to Debo. How much is he? Ooh, some nice walkouts in that. Decent. Come on. Another team of the week. I'm going to pack every other team of the week apart from Andy Robertson at this point. There's Cruz. Hey, and Verratti. Oh, there you go. You got Andy Robertson. <laughs> nah. I'm going to open this. I'm going to open this and hopefully we'll get something. Come on. Please. Kula Bali. Kula Bali. <laughs> no, nah, Lukaku doesn't excite anybody now. He doesn't actually excite Chelsea fans in real life either. Uh, 85 plus rated rare player, but you only get one in each one of these. So, let's hope. No. Handanovic. Which, again, I've already got. And he's untradeable, isn't he? Right. You know what I'm going to do? I want to get that Raspadori. I do agree. Ooh, big walkout from a red goal pack. I say big walkout. It's Bernardo Silva. <laughs> oh, a shadow in there as well. Look at all that. No players. <laughs> I've got all the players already. But at least they're tradable. Courtois. Think about the knives, etc. We had shock league winners. Yeah. That's true. I mean, you know, you look at the, the 90s and the 80s and things like that. And you had, you had different winners. I mean, fucking hell. Everton were a force back then. Look at Everton now. Another rare players. Come on. I haven't had a team of the season for ages. Got another walkout. That, that's that's decent. Immobile. Not bad. I mean I know I know we're probably the most hated team in the league. But what is with the walkouts? Can I get a team of the season? Can I get a team of the season, please? Yeah, no, we're, the, we're not like the most hated. We are the most hated club. Um, I mean, it's pretty much similar with Liverpool for me, nearly. I think I was about four when I started realising what football was and my brother got me into it. Brazil! Goalkeeper! Edison! 
But I just, I just don't understand those kind of people. What a pack. <laughs> what a pack that is. A couple of walkouts. Van Dyke, probably team of the season. Uh, next week. Uh, put Sissoko in there, maybe. There we go. Done. I don't mind getting rid of the rest now. I don't mind getting rid of the rest. Another Jumbo Red Players Pack. At this, at this rate, I'm regretting opening these because we're just not getting team of the seasons. I'm getting walkouts, but I'm not getting team of the seasons. Parejo. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, you met her on Twitch. Oh, nice. That's a cool little story. Give us at least a decent, a, a small community team of the season. Hour, yet again. Hooray. Ah, the pain. Again, it's tradable, so I can't really complain too much. If I remember that way. Perfect, done, Raspadori. Welcome to the club. First team of the season, uh, SBC is done. And he actually looks quality. I won't lie, he looks actually really decent. So, what we'll try and do is we'll try and mix this because you need to have seven leagues for that Parejo um, objective. So what we'll try and do is we'll try and mix Raspadori and some of the new uh, Eredivisie cards in. So there you go. So all the fodder we've been able to do today we have been able to finish a prime icon player pick. And you know what that means, don't you? That means we get to do a reveal. Because I haven't done one of these in a while and I want to do one. So <laughs> we are going to be doing a reveal. Bring over King Kenny. Because it's been a while. Ooh, there we go. It's been a while. Let me turn off the monitor. Controller needs to be paired. I've only just placed it down on the side. Jesus. Uh, I need to make. Hang on. 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 Oh, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. Right. I have pressed to open the player pick. And now I'm in the thing, so I need to figure out. Oh, there goes my counter. I need to get a new counter. Right. We need to move. There we go. Right, okay. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so. Physical, 83. So stamina, 91. Jumping 86, uh, it's not bad. It's not a bad start. I mean, if this is, if this is a, um, if this is not a defender, this is actually quite decent stats. It's a defender. 88 defending, 83 physical. Actually, it might not be a defender. It may be a CDM. It may be a CDM. All depends on the dribbling and the passing. Right, dribbling 81. This 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 makes me think it's a CDM. So passing's 88. It's well rounded. Shooting 65. Just as I say it's well rounded. Pace 78. Pep. Guardiola. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a great start. I tell you that. It's not a great start. Pep Guardiola. Right. Next one along. Next one along. Right. 90 physical this time. So, strength, dressing, stamina is not great. This is a defender. This is a defender. So 90 defending as well. So 
The defending and the physical is actually quite decent. I actually quite like those stats. They don't look too bad. But, again, it all depends on the dribbling because 90 defending, 90 physical could mean Puyol or someone. So, it all depends. Yeah, it's, it's bad. Oh, 80 pace. Okay, Sol Campbell's not bad. The balance and the agility is terrible, but that's not bad. So, so far, I've got, a, a, I've got Pep Guardiola and I've got Sol Campbell. I might be tempted to take Sol Campbell just for like a past and present England squad. But it all depends on this last card. Come on, at least make this worth it for us doing this today. Okay, 84 physical. The jumping's not good, so that just means I, I think that means it's a small player. And if it's a small player, you know, it's got great stamina. Just don't be good at defending. Right, okay, heading accuracy is 88. So we've actually got ourselves someone who plays up top of the field. Right, for once, for once, please have good dribbling. 90 dribbling's not bad. The problem is the balance is terrible. It was all going so well. The balance is awful. So this could be like, I don't know, Rivaldo, someone like that. Passing's 91. Shooting's 90. Pace is 84. Is it going to be any good? Socrates! Hey, you know what? I'll take that. I actually like so uh, so Socrates. So, yeah, that's not bad. He's not probably going to be worth that much, to be honest. And uh, obviously, he's SBCs out and everything like that. But I would rather take him than take uh, the other two. So, uh, it's unfortunate. I don't think you get to see how much each is worth on the um, on this. So, you, I'm going to have a quick look at Footbin. Just to, I'm, we're going to have a laugh. Let's find out. So, Guardiola. Guardiola, his 90 rated icon card is currently sat. Whoa. Guardiola's icon, prime icon card is at 68k on the Xbox. And it's 74k on um, PlayStation. Uh, so that's not good at all. Campbell. Have a look at Sol Campbell's uh, 89 rated card. Sol Campbell's 89 rated card. That's 140 to 150k. So that's alright. And uh, Socrates. I know people, some people say Socrates. I'm pretty sure he's named after the philosopher. So there you go. Yeah, I'm picking the, the most expensive one. Socrates, Socrates is 182k on Xbox, 163k on PlayStation. And I like the Doctor. I think he's, uh, he's, he's, he's decent. So more than happy to take him and throw him into our, our team. And... That is going to be the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy, do leave a like. And if you do want to come back for more, please consider subscribing. Take care. Bye.